Hogzilla Barbecue, welcome to the show. This week, gonna do some pork steaks. Alright y'all, so what we've got here is a small pork butt. I want to make pork steaks. I bought pork steaks before already made up from the store. Um, my understanding is you can make a really nice one from a pork butt. Try to get a pork butt without the bone. Uh, sadly, that's not always what you can get. So we're going to do a couple of different things with this thing. Um, I think the pork steaks at a St. Louis thing. Um, probably do a little research on it, get back to you. Pretty sure it is though. I think it's about the only thing I've ever seen come from St. Louis. Anyway, things got the bone going through here. I've already tried probing it a little bit. See just what I can get off of this. Um, probably gonna have some leftover. I might throw this bone on there with the top piece here, smoke it up, and get a little pulled pork out of that. I don't know. Kind of have to see what happens here. Okay, I'm going right along the bone there. It looks like it's trying to bust out right there. That's the fat cap and the bone. We'll just cook that up like it is. And uh, a couple of pulled pork sandwiches out of that. So it's looking like. So I'm thinking we can get, I'll take some of this funk off. A couple of uh, weird shaped steaks out of that. I don't know if I want to go this way. Ooh, that does look marble pretty good like that. I might get three out of that. I mean, I don't want to be greedy. But that's looking fantastic right there. So does that. Still be a little frozen, which sucks. Didn't realize it was in the freezer. I'm off this week trying to get a couple of cooks in that we haven't done. Of course, we're having steak this weekend from a prime rib, of course. But we've already done that. So, that's a good looking piece of meat right there. Ain't nothing wrong with that. This right here is a little funky. I might trim that off. sandwiches. So that's 
a good looking steak. And some other stuff. All right, so basically get two different meals out of this one. All right, let me get these prepped up and uh, I'm gonna marinate. Well, let's do that first. Let's go ahead and get these marinated. Wash up. I'm gonna marinate them just like the steak. Mr. Shirt, wash your shisha straws. Hot sauce. Chalo. I don't want these guys get happy. In an hour or so. Oh, smoker's getting hot. Then they'll get some GPS on them right before they go on. Um, do like a reverse sear, gonna smoke them for a little bit, then we'll do a hard sear after that. Alright, these guys are just gonna get butt rubbed. Maybe a little GPS. Alright, we'll get it all put together. Back in a bit. Alright, so these things have had a little chance to soak up some of that juice. The uh, pork steaks but, uh, not butter, um, hot sauce and Worcestershire sauce. And now we're gonna put a little GPS on there. This is our little mini pork butt. It's just got uh, butt rub and a little GPS. Does look kind of cute, like a tiny little pork butt. I'm not going to probe these. I've got a probe down there. We'll just check them. I'm not sure whether to take it to 199, 200, or whatever, like you would a pork butt, or between 145, 160. I mean, I want them tender, but it's not a pork loin, you know? So I think we're just going to go by how it feels. All right, so let's go to the pit. Hey y'all, real quick video on my favorite beans, barbecue beans. This is very simple, um, very basic. I like red beans, pinto beans. I take one can of red beans, one can of pinto beans. I rinse these and put them in the pot. A can of Rotel, liquid and all. Small can of chilies. One diced half onion, medium sized half onion diced up. I'm not gonna show you that. If you don't know how to dice an onion, then uh, just keep eating at McDonald's. That's probably the best thing. Um, a little Chalua hot sauce to taste. If you don't like it, don't use it. I do like it. So I'll put some in. I'm gonna let this cook down for a while and then I'll check it. Put it on the stove on low and let it go. Also, instead of ketchup, I use a little Sweet Baby Ray's. That'll offset some of this chili flavor. If I had to say, I'll probably start with uh, what would end up in like a half a can of that Rotel. This bottle's about out, but we don't waste anything. Hogzilla barbecue. Can't afford it. Five dollars a gallon for gasoline. I can't afford to cut the grass. Barely was able to afford to go to the doctor today. Blood pressure still too high. Well, 
Are you eating proper? Hell yeah. Pork almost every day. All right. So I'm going to let this go. We'll come back in a little bit. Take a look at it. All right. Go to McDonald's. You can't do this. All right, y'all. So I got this thing running on the uh, 250 setting. Right now it's running about 185. Of course, got the lid open. Got two uh, smoke tubes running. We're going to put this on here and let her go. piece we're just gonna use that for snacky time y'all so these things are looking pretty good run around 150 155 on the temp I don't think we're gonna take them much past 160 uh, more like what I would do with a sliced pork at least for the pork steaks I still don't know what I'm gonna do with that little baby butt over there um, because if you're gonna take it to 200 it's gonna be like pulled pork it's just gonna be like mush so Probably gonna do about another 30 40 minutes let these things rest up I don't think they're gonna need to have a sear done they got a really good bark going on them so back in a little bit okay so here's the pork steaks they turned out great. Look how juicy that is. Oh, that's awesome. And uh, there's the beans I told you you couldn't make. So you'd probably just go to McDonald's for that. All right, we're gonna eat. This is gonna be great. See you next time. All right, y'all. This is a good, easy cook. Y'all ought to try it. Very delicious. God bless you. God bless this country.